granddaughter Zara Phillips ties the knot with rugby star Mike Tyndall. The celebrations in Edinburgh will be somewhat less formal than those enjoyed by William and Kate. They get underway this evening aboard the former royal yacht Britannia. Our correspondent Lorna Gordon is there. Lorna. Simon, the royal family has a long association with Britannia. Zara's grandmother, the Queen, is very fond of the yacht, and Zara herself, well, she said to be, uh, to have fond memories of her time on board as a child. Well, today Zara returns with up to 400 of her and her groom's family and friends for a big celebration ahead of the big day. It has all the hallmarks of a royal wedding. There are police checking the venues. The safety barriers are going up in anticipation of the crowds, and photographers are hoping for a glimpse of the happy couple. But this, officially, is a private wedding for family and friends. Zara Phillips and Mike Tyndall met through their love of sport. The bride-to-be a former eventing world champion. The groom has captained England at rugby. Their engagement photos showing their laid-back style and perhaps hinting at their hopes for a low-key wedding. This is a private wedding between two private individuals. It so happens that they've got a certain amount of personality and they've got um, a famous family and famous friends. Um, but it's a situation that we're well used to and we've planned well ahead in advance. And there's also been plenty of planning on what to give as gifts. The craftsmen who worked on restoration projects at Holyrood Palace have carved a table for the couple, showing the royal links with Scotland. It's been a very great honour to work on this project. The symbols on it signify the Canongate Kirk and Holyrood House with the stag's head, with the Holy Cross, with the antlers. The guests have started arriving. Among the first, Princess Anne, fitting in some royal duties in the city ahead of her daughter's big day. And preparations here are well underway. There have been police on site all day, and for the last few hours, we've been seeing catering staff uh, going in uh, with food and, and drinks. We don't know what will be served, but what we do know is that nothing is being left to chance. Simon. Thank you very much, Lorna Gordon. Love you. Good afternoon. It's been billed as Scotland's first royal wedding for nearly 20 years. Princess Anne's daughter, Zara Phillips, marries England rugby star Mike Tyndall at the Canongate Kirk in Edinburgh tomorrow. And tonight they're hosting a cocktail party at the Royal Yacht Britannia in Leith. And that's where our reporter Andrew Kerr is this lunchtime. Did your invite get lost in the post, Andrew? Yes, I think it did, Graham. The stage is set here, Graham, for one of the most prestigious cocktail parties, certainly in, in Edinburgh this evening. There are going to be hundreds of guests going to be here, invited by Zara and Mike Tindo ahead of their wedding tomorrow. I think the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, William and Kate, topping that guest list. And in fact, the police have been carrying out some security checks this lunchtime. And in fact, preparations have been going on across Edinburgh today. The mother of the bride looked fairly relaxed on a visit to Edinburgh University this morning. Zara is following in her mother's footsteps by opting for a Scottish wedding and tied the knot at Crathy Kirk in 1992. Police say Zara and Mike Tyndall's ceremony is a private affair. But just look at the big security operation underway at the Canongate Kirk and there's a huge amount of media interest too. We've got a range of contingencies in place and we've, we've planned well in advance and, and all those are in place and I will be surrounded by a, a really good team of, of people and advisors who will assist me on the day. After the wedding at the Kirk tomorrow afternoon, it's off to the Palace of Holyrood House for the reception, an ideal venue apparently. Anyone who knows it knows that there's several large public rooms that can be used, um, drawing rooms and there's something rather intimate about the Palace of Holyrood House as compared to Buckingham Palace. Something rather nice about it, yes. A key part of any wedding are the presents. Historic Scotland are giving this hand-carved occasional table, which has a royal heritage. The tree itself was plant, planted by Prince Albert, and uh, in the storms a few years ago, it was damaged and had to come down. So our craftspeople here kept some of the, the good wood, and uh, this was just a perfect opportunity to, to create this the small gift. But the dress is the most important thing for the bride at this point in the proceedings. This is a Stuart Parvin design. 
It's thought he is the man who's made the gown. Well, I think a lot of his designs really based on iconic times in fashion, like Grace Kelly, for instance, this particular dress really cinched in through the waist and the beautiful attention to detail with the tiny bow. And I think he modernises that classic look. The designer's name and all the other details will be revealed in full tomorrow. Yes, lots of things kept under wraps about this uh, wedding tomorrow. Just 24 hours to go, really, until the big day. The service taking place at 3 o'clock. We do think there'll be a wedding rehearsal going on at the Canongate Kirk at some time this afternoon. And this place will be all a buzz tonight for that big cocktail party. We'll bring you more on Reporting Scotland at half past six. Graham. Andrew, thank you.